Hi all, welcome uh, to the Jenkins UI UX Hackfest uh, opening session. Uh, just to clarify, it's not a grand kickoff. We want to the 1 p.m. UTC. It's a small opening session we are doing, uh, well, on the morning in my time zone, uh, just uh, to prepare, to answer questions, uh, and communicate with those who are not able to participate in the main session. And yeah, thanks uh, to everyone who joined uh, this meeting. So. I will do a quick introduction uh, to the Hackfest and then we will talk about how to contribute. So we run this meetup as a, on the Jenkins Online Meetup platform. And basically the idea is to just provide content uh, for contributors by contributors. So we won't have so many slides during this session and probably no slides at all during some other sessions scheduled for this week. The whole purpose is to have discussions, uh, to sh show particular use cases, to do live demos, and everyone is uh, welcome to participate. So you can uh, just uh, submit your own session proposal, or you can join the discussion in the chat or the meeting. Uh, you're more than welcome to contribute. So, yeah, I will move the slides later. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, this time just uh, ask in the chat. Uh, during the main kickoff session, we will be doing uh, Kony in Zoom, uh, and we have uh, the Gitter channel which is an official channel for this Hackfest. So if you have any questions, then, uh, you can just go here and ask, and we are getting more and more participants in the chat here. Okay, so let's talk about the event itself. Uh, yeah, you have like uh, seen uh, some announcements because we are heavily using Jenkins Media uh, for that. Uh, so it's a one week long UI UX Hackfest and we invite uh, all contributors uh, to, con uh, to participate and to improve the Jenkins user experience together. Why it's important? Uh, yeah, Jenkins user experience is one of the top items we get uh, as a feedback from Jenkins users. It's an area which we could improve so that uh, Jenkins looks modern uh, and we make it easy to use uh, for Jenkins users who are not experts in the system. And uh, we have a number of items related to Jenkins user experience on our roadmap. So yeah, as you may see, I will be switching between windows uh, quite often today. So we have a work in progress roadmap and many topics on the list are related to user experience or user interface. So there are new features in common, uh, but also uh, there are areas related to Jenkins look and feel, to front end and to Jenkins documentation. So when we were discussing what we could do for this hackathon, we thought that we could focus on um, two main topics is improving user interface and improving user documentation. We are well aware of that user experience is a much wider topic. And if you have other ideas in mind, you're welcome to put, uh, participate in these areas. Uh, we also invite you uh, to spread the word about Jenkins. Uh, for example, uh, if you participate uh, in this event, just uh, share your experiences or share your experiences about Jenkins uh, or contributing to Jenkins. Or if you um, are interested in particular features, if you want uh, to share, uh, just uh, for example, write a blog post, create an article, um, or um, record a video with uh, a session for that. It all counts uh, because it helps uh, users uh, to get more information about Jenkins and uh, hopefully to improve their user experience. Uh, also good news that thanks to our sponsors, we can offer uh, some schwag and prizes to contributors. I don't have it on my slide deck, but I have them here. So we'll have a fancy uh, Jenkins is the way t-shirts, we will have socks and some stickers and probably something more. So we are still working on that. Uh, but yeah, thanks to everybody who contributes and hopefully we'll be able uh, to distribute some cool stuff after the event. Okay, uh, let's talk a bit about the format. Uh, so we call it Hackfest. It's not a hackathon. Uh, hackathon is usually perceived as something when uh, a lot of hackers uh, gather together, just uh, stay indoors for 24 hours, 48 hours, sometimes get some sleep, not, not that often though. Um, it's not how we organize this event. Uh, actually, the idea is to do an uh, online event uh, where everybody can contribute regardless of your Jenkins development experience, regardless of your uh, time. Uh, 
so if you have a few hours, it's fine. If you have a day you could uh, dedicate, it's awesome. Uh, but uh, generally, as much time you could uh, dedicate, uh, everything is appreciated. Um, and we want uh, to mostly uh, focus on learning, uh, sharing experiences. Of course, we want to have some fun during the event. So we'll just uh, focus on topics which are important to you, topics you want uh, to discover. Uh, and of course, uh, if you have any user experience issues with Jenkins, uh, focus on them. Uh, before the event, we uh, did a survey as a part of uh, RSVP, uh, where we asked the users to provide uh, uh, some insights about uh, the main issues with Jenkins user experience, and we will be processing uh, this information. Uh, thanks to everybody for responses. Um, and the additional thing is that this event is actually um, uh, a newcomer friendly. So if you have no experience with Jenkins development or uh, this contribution to Jenkins, uh, we have some newcomer friendly issues for you. We also have uh, learning materials and we are happy to help you. So if you want to participate but have no experience, it's totally possible. Okay, uh, before I press it, I uh, would like uh, to thank the org team, uh, which uh, helped to assemble this event. Uh, so thanks to Mark Wade, Tracy, Tim Jacob, uh, Mark Jackson, and Alisa Tonk. Uh, they helped a lot with different aspects of this event. And also thanks uh, to special interest uh, group members uh, who helped with reviewing stories, preparing project ideas, etc. There was a lot of uh, grant work before this uh, day and uh, we much appreciate that. Uh, I also want to thank our sponsors, uh, thanks to CloudBees, thanks to Continuous Delivery Foundation, uh, um, uh, thanks to them we have Schwag, we have a platform for online meetups, and we have uh, time for event organizers so that we can actually run this event. So thanks to them. Okay, uh, before we proceed to the next section, uh, do you have any questions? Okay, then uh, let's move on. So let's uh, talk a bit about uh, participating to this event. Uh, so it's quite easy uh, and uh, there are just a few steps and we will go through this step. So the first step, if you haven't done it yet, you need to register to the event. So why it's important, uh, we want to distribute Schwag and uh, in order to do that, we need to contact the somehow. So we actually ask you to submit a, a short Google form with some details. Um, yeah, you can see example of my forum, for example. And uh, yeah, basically we need some information to trace your contributions, to display your, on the website, and we also collect some information. For example, uh, there is a question of what are the top three things uh, we could change in Jenkins. Uh, yeah, again, it's just uh, for our information. And, well, you can see what I answered. I didn't uh, think uh, too much about that, but yeah, this is my answers. And uh, yeah, uh, this information will be used later. So if you haven't registered, uh, please do so, uh, because yeah, that's what we need in order uh, to uh, track that. Then please uh, join our Gitter channel. So this Gitter channel will be used for, uh, for uh, communications and announcements uh, during this event. Uh, yeah, they, before we started this meeting, you may have noticed that we had some issues with the uh, use proper uh, video channel. So yeah, issues like that will be resolved in this chat. So it's uh, good uh, to follow that if something uh, goes wrong. Then, yeah, uh, join or watch our kickoff meeting. So basically, this is what we record now, and it will be published on YouTube. And uh, later today, we have we will have a full session with more content. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And after that, you will need to, to think about uh, the projects you would like to work on, uh, and uh, you can just uh, choose something and start contributing. Basically, that's it. Um, I will talk a bit about uh, choosing the projects uh, later. Uh, one of the questions uh, we usually get uh, from users is how to contribute. For that, uh, during the previous months, we invested a lot of time in creating new uh, contributing guidelines. Uh, so we have them on Jenkins.io slash participate and you can find uh, various stories. Uh, many of the stories are actually related to user experience, if not all of them. So for example, if you want to code, you go here and uh, you can find links to 
materials. You can find uh, links to locations of uh, main uh, organizations. And uh, yeah, if uh, you want to find newcomer friendly issues, you can also find some here. So for example, uh, I can uh, go to GitHub or Jenkins Jira, and I guess that there will be quite a number of issues right now. Uh, so you can just uh, take something like that. Pretty much the same for documentation, for design, everywhere you have some uh, guidelines and some pointers to locations where you could contribute. Uh, what you could do during this hack test specifically. Uh, so uh, Jenkins is a diverse project. We have a lot of technologies under the hood. So for example, if you're a Java developer, if you're a JavaScript developer, or if you want uh, to learn Go, there is something you could work on. And well, uh, basically uh, there are many uh, languages and technologies available. Same for documentation. You mostly use documentation as code, uh, Markdown and ASCII doc. So it would be likely something of that. Uh, you're also welcome to contribute uh, to testing and specifically to user experience testing. So for example, uh, testing of uh, installation guidelines, uh, tutorials, or new features we are working on. Also, uh, code and documentation reviews. Um, uh, in uh, this uh, hack test, we count not only code contributions, but also any other kind of contributions. So uh, you're welcome to help in any area. And as we talked before, you can also uh, create uh, various content or just help others. All of that uh, would count as a contribution and we will uh, much appreciate that. For this event, uh, we split uh, all the topics to uh, three tracks. So one is dedicated to user experience, uh, sorry, to user interface of Jenkins. Uh, so we have some stories for improving look and feel, improving accessibility, creating uh, read-only UI themes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we also have user documentation track, mostly focused on documentation uh, and on Jenkins I/O, and we have a track uh, which would rather focus on uh, creating additional uh, learning materials and sharing stories, which is called spread the word. So these are three main tracks. Uh, but for example, uh, user interface track also includes documentation because when we create new features, we need to document them. Uh, creating tutorials, demos would be much appreciated. Same for user documentation. Yeah, you may see that uh, there is a lot of documentation, uh, but at the same time, for example, we want to make uh, our website mobile friendly and definitely it uh, implies a lot of coding, for example, in JavaScript, uh, in, uh, patching CSS, etc. So if you're not a tech writer, you can definitely find something in user documentation track as well. So um, if you want to find more information about projects and project ideas, we have uh, prepared a website for you, actually. Uh, this is our main page, uh, your UX hack test. And here you can see that all the information we talked about, uh, and uh, much more other information, it's actually listed here. And for the tracks, we also have uh, project ideas, which provide some information, some links to the tasks. Um, and yeah, you can basically pick one of those and uh, start contributing to this area. Mm, so yeah, uh, this is what we have. And a common question we get is, what about uh, user experience contributions to the areas which are not listed? So for example, here, yes, we have a number of projects to user interface, but uh, these projects are rather larger focused on a particular topic. But for, what if you want to improve a particular plugin? Uh, yes, it's possible. Uh, if you are maintainer of a Jenkins plugin, you can also work on your plugin if you want. Uh, if you want to address other area of user experience, for example, working on better localizations, creating some designs, etc or even creating some artwork, it's also possible. So we do not list it on the tracks, but if you feel strong and work, want to work on these areas, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want uh, to invite uh, others uh, uh, to work on this area, and if you want uh, to champion that, you're more than welcome to do that. You can just propose a patch uh, for this uh, site and uh, your project idea here. So. Uh, for example, here you can just click improve this page and uh, edit this page directly in your browser and suggest a pull request. I won't be doing it right now, but yeah, it's quite handy. Okay. 
So how to record contributions? As I said, uh, we count not only code contributions, but also uh, all kinds of other contributions. Uh, yeah, Jenkins is a huge project and whatever uh, helps uh, user experience help the project, and we appreciate that. Uh, to track uh, contributions, we created um, a mini site on GitHub, and uh, this mini site will be actually used uh, for tracking contributions. Uh, we can uh, discover uh, your pull requests, etc., by using the GitHub IDs. But for example, if you post a video or whatever, uh, it's definitely required to post an event here. So we have some um, uh, examples. For example, Raihan, one of contributors. Uh, they will already some patches. And for example, this is a sample. So basically just a short summary and links. And we use GitHub issues for that. Well, we, why we use GitHub issues? Because everywhere, everyone can create them uh, and we can uh, easily aggregate them into reports later. So for example, if I want to record a contribution, uh, today we ha have a video, so I guess it counts as spread the word. Uh, so I say that, uh, okay, uh, uh, yeah, uh, and I'll say uh, Hackfest, uh, kickoff session, for example. So links, uh, do we have something? Um, I have slides, for example. Uh, let's link uh, them from there. Uh, slides. Uh. Okay, so just uh, let's uh, uh, create that. Uh, uh, yeah, I think is not my strongest thing. Okay, uh, so screenshots. Yeah, I don't think we really need something. So I will just submit that. So here's my contribution. And then uh, this contribution will be processed by the team uh, and added to the list. So um, on the main uh, side, you can see that we have a number of contributors here and we will be extending this list based, based on uh, re contributing reports. So for example, I know for sure that uh, Sumit has already submitted a contribution here, right? Uh, so um, add documentation on using incrementals. So let's just uh, add submit to the list. Yeah. So documentation. Initially it's also, I'm not sure whether tools are supported. So let's check. We are using a standard port called uh, all contributors for that. So let's see. Yeah, they have tools. So, okay. So let's just comment. And after that, in a few seconds, we should get a pull request. Okay. Yeah, that might affect, but yeah. So we have a pull request from the bot and we will just merge it. Uh, and voila, now we have submit on the list. So, congrats. And yeah, this is how it works. So we will be recording that. And after that, we will be processing all the reported issues in order to create reports. And we can ask to submit uh, reports here, even if you uh, create code. You don't have to submit um, um, such reports for any contribution. For example, if you work on a particular area, like uh, improving system read permission, you can just uh, submit for example, a daily report with a number of issues if they are heavily related. So it's totally up to you how you report that. And yeah, by the way, I should now close this issue. Okay, so yeah, that's the plan. And uh, we will keep working uh, like that and everybody is welcome to just uh, submit the contributions. Another important topic is about communication channels. So here you can see we have a number of channels. We have already discussed uh, the main, uh, sorry, the Gitter chat. We also have a number of uh, mailing lists. Basically, all our content is created by special interest groups, uh, user experience, documentation, on advocacy and outreach. 
and the, each of these special interest groups has its own mailing list. So if you have a question about a particular topic, you can, uh, can just go there and ask. All these mailing lists are public. So you can see that one pending message is here, but uh, don't worry, this message is a spam. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's uh, the idea. So you can go uh, here and uh, you can also report something in the developer mailing list. In addition to that, we will have office hours. I will talk about them later, but you are welcome to join any of them. So when you communicate, uh, please keep in mind uh, our code of conduct. Uh, we have one. So Jenkins code of conduct is based on a contributor covenant. Uh, we use version 1.3. Uh, but yeah, if you're afraid about that, uh, basically it says be nice. So please respect all uh, the contributors uh, regardless of their experience, etc. Uh, all of us want to improve the project. Uh, and let's help together to make uh, this event a great experience for everybody. So yeah, that's uh, a summary of the code of conduct. Uh, just uh, please follow that. Uh, in addition um, uh, to the communication channels, yeah, I already uh, talked about office hours and we have a number of other events. So if you want uh, to access these events, you can find links on our main website, at least for some events. You can see, for example, we have a uh, Hackfest session at 1 p.m. UTC. Uh, if you click at the sleepy here, you can find it uh, on the Jenkins Online Meetup platform. So this is our main session in several hours, uh, and you are still welcome to join that. Uh, we will also have a number of knowledge transfers for developers, for users, and contributors. Again, we host these sessions as Jenkins Online Meetups, um, so you can just go to any of them at SVP, and you will see a link so that you can join this session. Um, in addition to that, uh, we run office hours. Uh, so you can just go to Jenkins your, your, your Hackfest calendar. Oh, I need to fix the link. So yeah, it looks like that. So we published a public calendar. You can just add it uh, to your Google Calendar and watch it. So for example, here you can see a number of events uh, during all the days. So right now we have this early birth session um, and um, every day during this time we will have uh, open office hours. So what it means, uh, there will be uh, a Google Hangouts meeting. So we won't be recording that. Um, but yeah, this, if you have any questions, if you want to discuss something or just chat with uh, participants, feel free to join and uh, you're more than welcome. Same for evening sessions. Evening for me, but yeah, morning for Americas, for example. Uh, yeah, we will have uh, this section, this sessions from uh, Tuesday to Thursday, and on Friday we will have a closing session. Uh, so you can also find uh, all the plant events uh, in this calendar. You can see that it's quite packed in the beginning. It's not that packed uh, in the end. So one of the reasons is because we haven't published all the events yet, and if you want to present something, uh, just let us know. We will publish it here. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, then uh, let's move on. Yeah, just too many links, but okay. So online meetups, yeah, it's something we already discussed, so I won't uh, spend too much time there. Uh, let's uh, talk about uh, tracks and projects. So I already uh, spoke a bit about that in the beginning. And uh, let's just go to our main page. I, okay, I'll do something like that. So, UX hard first. So, let's go to our event page. And here you can uh, uh, find uh, all three tracks we have. And for these uh, tracks, we have uh, projects listed. So, again, uh, this list is a kind of moving target. So, we will be still updating it during the Hackfest, adding more links, uh, adding uh, special, special topics uh, depending on the contributor progress. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go through the projects we have offered in the list. Uh, during the main kickoff session, we will be, have more presenters. So, it won't be just me speaking about all other things, but well. Mm. Uh, so please bear with me for uh, this session. So 
One of the first areas we have is just modernizing uh, Jenkins user experience. Uh, we have an epic uh, created by UX Seek, uh, which is focused on particular tasks. So there is one big here. If you log in and you see nothing, most, uh, most likely it's because you need to log in to the Jenkins Jira. Unfortunately, it's configured in a way that it doesn't display tickets if you are not logged in uh, into the system. Uh, so here you can find some issues uh, you want to focus on. You can see that uh, there is already a good progress, but uh, again, uh, we will be adding uh, more tickets here. So uh, you're welcome to just uh, pick something and contribute. And basically the main goal here is to improve uh, uh, the landing page and the main controls on the landing page. Mm, so it's a project on the UXC. So I can hint at some examples. Uh, well, everybody knows uh, Jenkins web interface, right? So, yeah, we did some improvements so, over the past months. For example, uh, we improved typography, we improved uh, look and feel. But yeah, if you just open this page, you can definitely see something which could be improved. So, for example, this build queue, yeah, it's hard to navigate, it's uh, quite long, also executor status, you uh, can uh, scroll for errands to get there. Uh, and uh, yeah, there are many uh, areas here and there which we could improve. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, same for any other page. So if you see something you would like to change, uh, which is not listed, uh, please feel free to do so or to discuss it with contributors and do so. So we want to improve. Yeah. So it's a quite small pop-up here, probably also a, to a topic for improvement. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, basically, we want to change many things here. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there is also a number of uh, issues reported in uh, Jenkins Jira. So, uh, we have a lot of uh, open issues in Jenkins Jira, well, uh, for approximately 20,000 issues. So, definitely, there is a lot of stuff you could work on. Uh, but we prepared some queries which could help to discover issues. So for example, here, if you're looking for newcomer friendly uh, issues related to user experience or UI, uh, here's a query where you can find these issues. Uh, so yeah, there is around 40 of them and you can see that some issues are located in plugins, some issues are located in Jenkins core, but all these issues count towards the goal. Actually, you can contribute to any project within the Jenkins ecosystem, not even to a plugin. So if you want to improve standalone component like a Jenkins Kubernetes operator, it's also more than welcome. Uh, if you're an experienced contributor or if you want to try something advanced, uh, let's remove new befriendly label. And now we have uh, more than 300 issues. So definitely something uh, which could be taken. Uh, this list is not extensive. Again, we heavily rely on uh, contributors properly setting labels, etc. But so, if you want uh, 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 to dive deeper and uh, to discover more issues, you can definitely can. Uh, yeah, so it's just a starting point with our, some information for you. So, uh, pretty much the same for other projects. I will quickly do introductions without uh, deep, uh, without spending too much time. So web UI accessibility is another site of look and feel updates. So we want uh, Jenkins to be easily usable. Um, and uh, it's not only uh, for people with disabilities, like uh, so accessibility is sometimes considered like that, but it's not. Uh, it also applies to various areas, for example, mobile views, uh, uh, just uh, um, other special requirements. And uh, uh, if uh, you are willing to improve that, uh, we have some stories for you. So one of the major stories we are working right now is uh, changing the Jenkins configuration UI from tables to divs. So if you look at this UI, uh, so one of its problems, it's actually uh, the structure is quite hard coded by tables and they, well, it may look uh, good on this device, uh, but if you start resizing that, so this page may be looking uh, slightly okay. Well, at least it works. Some pages uh, may look terrible, especially configuration forms. And one of the ideas is to change everything. 
uh, and to basically switch to divs. It might sound easy, but actually it's not because uh, there are some uh, changes uh, required to do that. Uh, we have a pull request uh, for Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins. Uh, so yeah, there is a pull request here which is uh, ready to go uh, feature-wise. Uh, so, so you can see that there are 264 commands here already. Uh, and this pull request, it's not that big, but it changes uh, when all layouts. We know for sure that it's going to cause uh, some chain, uh, breaking changes in plugins, and we want to minimize uh, the impact. So we invite contributors uh, to try it out. Um, and later I can show how to do that. And uh, yeah, you can, for example, do some user experience testing. You can uh, submit some patches for plugins. and. Uh, uh, we will appreciate that. So again, uh, we can go to our Jira, and uh, there is, okay. so yeah, definitely uh, there is no quickly accessible links uh, link from this ticket. Again, uh, we will be cleaning up uh, these pages uh, later during uh, the hack test. So I know for sure that uh, team uh, has created uh, uh, a number of issues. So let's go here. Uh, yeah, here's a dashboard for us. Uh, so here you can uh, find uh, some issues uh, related to read-only Jenkins. Oh, so read-only Jenkins is separate. Uh, okay, let's go back. Uh, so yeah, I will make sure that uh, links are linked uh, from here. But uh, you're welcome to just do some testing and submit the issues and the patches uh, for areas which do not work well uh, on the resides forms. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, it was a wrong detour. But, yeah. So uh, what are the projects we have on the list? So for example, another important project for us is uh, system uh, permission. So currently we promote uh, configuration as code in Jenkins includes Jenkins configuration as code plugin, various uh, tools like Jenkins Kubernetes separator, Helm charts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Uh, and also of course pipeline as code because you can also define the Jenkins jobs as code. In order to make it uh, more comfortable for users, we want to introduce uh, read-only views of Jenkins configurations so that you can uh, view them, but you cannot really modify them, and uh, you can uh, use it for diagnostics, for quick analysis. Uh, there is a, a number of changes which have been already integrated into the uh, Jenkins core. Uh, there is um, an announcement draft which we will likely at least today. Um, and this announcement uh, basically invites everyone to try out this feature and again to report the discovered issues, uh, to do some contributions. And for that, uh, yeah, the dashboard I was showing, here you can find a number of issues which are related to particular areas, which could be also made read on the, for example, monitoring of Jenkins master on the monitoring plugin. Right now with this feature, it's not supported, but we could make it supported and so on and so on. So if you're interested uh, in configuration as code, this project might be interesting to you because as an administrator, you would get uh, more access, uh, better access to diagnostics information and instance while not uh, having full admin permissions. Okay, and uh, we also have GitHub projects and other links um, you can find. Uh, we also have developer guidelines for this project. So if you want to contribute to plugins, and there is a lot of plugins which need to be migrated, you can refer to these guidelines and you can find examples. And basically, you can take any plugin in Jenkins which offers system configuration and start the support for that. Okay, any questions before we move on? So, yeah, An another topic which might be interesting for contributors is UI themes. Uh, so mm, you're welcome to do that. And uh, yeah, you know that uh, there is a number of themes available in Jenkins. Uh, one of the engines for that is a simple themes plugin, uh, which is, quite widely used on Jenkins instances. 
And there is a number of uh, cool themes uh, um, for Jenkins, uh, um, allowing improving its UI uh, and well, some time other plugins for Material UI. This uh, near two theme, uh, yeah, again, it's also based on Material, but it is a lot of improvements. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're interested uh, in creating themes uh, or improving existing ones, it's something we invite to doing uh, during this hack test. And we also want to address one uh, issue which is being raised uh, uh, frequently, frequently is about having an official dark theme. So right now we have only classic theme, uh, but if you could create a dark theme, it would be really nice. So if you're interested to contribute to that, if you're fan of dark themes, personally I'm not, uh, but uh, if somebody wants to do that, uh, let's do that. It would be fun. Uh, so, and also you can create documentation. We also think about creating a themes marketplace because right now what we have for themes is basically uh, this page created uh, by a simple theme uh, plugin maintainers. Of course, we could do something uh, more interesting, like having a small uh, listing of themes with some documentation, with compatibility requirements, with screenshots, and uh, making it available, let's say, on GitHub IO. Uh, um, so if you're interested to work on that, please uh, do that. It will be interesting. Yeah. Okay. So we have some more advanced topics which we have on the list. For example, pipeline visualization. Uh, we are well aware about Blotion and pipeline stage view situation. It's one of the top feedback we, uh, items we get from users. Uh, unfortunately, we were not really able to figure out uh, how to make this uh, story newcomer friendly. Uh, but if you like challenges and if you want to try it out, we can definitely uh, talk about this area. Same for credentials management. Uh, yeah, we could improve uh, the UI navigation there. And we also invite you to work on the developer tools because if uh, Jenkins uh, contributors get the better developer tools for UI, they can basically create better UIs. So it contributes to the goal. We have a number of items uh, here, for example, extending UI samples. We have a special plugin which has a bunch of UI samples. It doesn't even have documentation uh, embedded right now, but so there is uh, a lot of opportunities to contribute. And of course, you can create more samples, uh, specifically, for example, for JavaScript. The Uli Hafner will be doing a session about uh, beautifying the Jenkins plugins with JavaScript. Uh, so yeah, this could be a good source uh, of inspiration for you. Also, uh, Dennis uh, is on the call today. Uh, he proposed uh, improving IntelliJ ID integration uh, for Stepter. So Stepter is UI framework uh, we use under the hood of Jenkins. Uh, basically, REST API handling, uh, mapping of requests to Java objects. And there is a framework which uses that. And there is a number of issues you could work on. And if you develop uh, Jenkins plugins in IntelliJ ID, uh, probably you can could propose even more enhancements there. And last but not least, also creating archetypes. It's, some, uh, it's basically a separate uh, part of the samples, but uh, we have template Maven projects so that any contributor can quickly uh, create a new plugin. So right now it has samples uh, based on Jelly and Stepler, but if somebody wants to create uh, advanced examples based on uh, JavaScript, etc., uh, please do so. It will be also helpful. Okay. So, a lot of information on a uh, short time. Do you have any questions? Or should we proceed? Okay, and then let's move on. Uh, user documentation. So again, user documentation is not just about documentation per se, it's about everything uh, related to uh, layouts. We have uh, two main documentation sites available right now. Uh, so one is uh, Jenkins.io. So Jenkins.io is our main website. It's fully managed by configuration as code. Uh, now it's also uh, based behind CDN. Uh, the site is static. 
and, and for example here we uh, have user guides we have solution pages etc uh, all of them uh, allocate under doc so uh, this documentation uh, many pages came originally from jenkins wiki we introduced it this site in 2016 as a part of jenkins 2.0 uh, we are currently working on migrating uh, the documentation and there is a lot of stories um, and you can actually contribute to any area within this documentation. So for example, uh, managing Jenkins, there is a lot of content which could be added here, same for user uh, uh, for installing Jenkins. Using Jenkins, uh, well, it's quite empty at the moment. So if you have any ideas about topics which could be documented there, it would be much appreciated. You can also work on improving navigation, etc. Because yeah, you can see that uh, right now this site is quite complicated. Well, it's even worse if you browse it on mobile and it could be improved. Um, also, for example, there is no search support on the Jenkins website at all. Well, uh, I would say that Google works quite well, but uh, if we had a better way to do some search, it would be definitely an interesting project, uh, at least directed to Google ideas or to other search engine de defined by the browser. So web UI experts uh, probably have a better idea how to do that. So you're welcome to contribute uh, to basically any area. Um, you can see that uh, there are two buttons here. One is improve this page. So basically all these pages can be edited just uh, in GitHub if you don't want to install IDE. If you want uh, to install IDE, actually we have contributing guidelines. So contributing uh, which uh, defines various topics like how to build it, how to run it locally, it's based on Docker. So if you're a Windows user, please let me know. I will try to help because it might be a bit challenging um, and uh, there is a lot of common cases documented here so you can just start working contributing and we have a number of issues reported so here you can see that uh, there is a number of projects uh, one of uh, important projects which i already referenced is migrating from wiki to um, uh, Sayon. So there are still many pages which are located on Wiki, which is read-only, often obsolete, and we want to do the migration. For migration, we also uh, we have an exporter tool which uh, automates some of these, and uh, yeah, you are welcome to contribute and uh, migrate some of the pages to the new location. Um, it's for plugin documentation. It's basically the same for tutorials. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably go to Jenkins IO again. So here we have, uh, for example, installation guidelines, tutorials. All this information could be improved and improved a lot. For tutorials, if you test it on modern platforms and you submit patches, it would be great. And, uh, for tutorials, uh, you're welcome to create new tutorials. So right now we have only a number of them hosted on uh, Jenkins IO. And if you create a great tutorial, you don't have to put it on Jenkins IO. For example, if you want to put it in your own blog, like on medium.com or Depto, you can uh, do that. You can st still post a link and uh, it will be much appreciated because uh, Jenkins is a developer tool, it's a tool for automation engineers and uh, uh, many people are actually interested in automating their particular cases. So if you have something to share, it's definitely a great opportunity to help users. Uh, so tutorials are here. We also have uh, solution pages for specific use cases. So for example, if you're Android developer, if you work with Docker, if you work with embedded systems, we have something. Uh, uh, so you can see that uh, we don't have so many solution pages. So creating new ones, for example, for Kubernetes or maybe for Maven uh, uh, would be useful. So if you're an expert in specific technology or if you just read a lot of articles and you're interested uh, to compile this information and to share the links, uh, feel free to work on these pages. Actually, you can see that uh, they're quite simple. And well, rendering could be improved a lot. Content for existing pages could be improved a lot. So again, uh, please feel free to do that. But extending these pages again can help uh, Jenkins users to find solutions for their own use cases. 
Okay, so uh, I guess I covered many project ideas here. Uh, so um, just work on that. Uh, one area I didn't cover is about plugin documentation. So the second important location uh, for uh, documentation are plugins. So we have uh, 1,700 plugins in Jenkins right now. So for example, we were talking about configuration as code. We can go to configuration as code, and you can find uh, some documentation here. Uh, so this documentation, um, again, um, it's documentation as code, but instead of being based on the Jenkins I.O. website, and it's a repository, it's actually located right inside the repositories. And we encourage uh, contributors to work on documentation for any repository, uh, adding more information, improving these pages. So for example, for configuration as code plugin, it's hard to find the detailed documentation because you have to scroll for a while before you discover the documentation section. So just reordering the content, making something more visible, it could be also a great contribution. Uh, obviously, uh, many uh, plugins would benefit from demos. For example, uh, Jcast plugin has a lot of demos. Uh, many plugins have no demos at all. So if you want to create something, please uh, do so. And we also uh, invite you to contribute to the plugin documentation integration because many uh, uh, plugins still have documentation on Jenkins Wiki. Um, I can actually show how many. So again, we have a wiki exporter tool. And if you will click on the progress button, uh, you can see how many uh, pages I still uh, need some migration. So uh, yeah, total we have 1700 plugins. We have migrated almost 500 plugins uh, to GitHub, but uh, yeah, there are more than 1000 to, uh, to go. So. If you're interested, you can just uh, take one of uh, these plugins, um, migrate the documentation to GitHub, uh, copy edit that, update that, uh, and it would be really valuable because again, by moving this documentation, by improving that, we improve uh, experience for documentation users. And also we make it easy to contribute because right now, uh, yeah, uh, documentation on Wiki is basically read on there and we encourage all plugin maintainers to migrate. So if you're interested to contribute, please uh, uh, just do so. And if you're a maintainer of a particular plugin or active user, uh, yeah, uh, it would be really helpful if you could do that. Okay. Any questions about the documentation? Okay, so yeah, uh, the last section, uh, which is uh, quite short, is about uh, spreading the word. So we invite you to share experiences about Jenkins using any channel. Uh, for example, you can just uh, write articles, post them on your personal blog, post, uh, post them on Jenkins.io. Oh, the link is broken here. I will fix it later, later, but yeah, for example, here we have a Jenkins blog where we post updates, where we share uh, information about releases, but we're also happy to publish your case studies here. Or you can just do it in a personal uh, blog uh, post. If you want to share a success story, we have a program called uh, Jenkins is the way, and actually we follow this Jenkins is the way theme in the hackathon. And uh, we have a special site for that. Uh, where you can find uh, stories created uh, uh, by Jenkins users. Today we will have a session by Lisa Tong and she will present uh, this website uh, and uh, the stories. So I won't be spending too much time on that. Uh, but uh, what is a uh, thing you need to know, you can uh, share your story. So uh, there is a simple survey on Survey Monkey, which you can pass and then uh, the story will be submitted and processed. And again, it counts towards uh, Hackfest contributions because we really appreciate user stories. It helps us uh, to get feedback. It helps us to highlight that uh, Jenkins can be used in different uh, areas and use cases. So uh, if you're interested, please do so. Uh, what else you can do? Uh, you can uh, just um, you know, yeah, 
it posts something, you can uh, record videos. Uh, so for example, if you want uh, to have a walkthrough about the plugin, or if you want uh, to just uh, show how your instance works, how you automate your pipelines, um, please uh, be welcome to do that. Again, we ask uh, using Jenkins the way hashtag or label just to make this content more discoverable uh, for us so that we repost that and for others. And uh, yeah. so you can actually use any other ways uh, to promote the project. Uh, so this is just a number of examples here. And if you're interested, uh, we still have some time uh, later this week on Thursday and Friday. So if you want to present, uh, for example, your work on uh, Jenkins user experience uh, or new features in coming from the project, uh, please let us know. We are happy to host a session uh, as a part of this hard test. Okay. So I think I covered uh, everything I uh, planned during this presentation. Mm, so yeah, again, it's the first one. So if you see any gaps, uh, please let me know. These slides um, will be published basically just now. Slides uh, from the morning session. Okay. So that's it from me. Do you have any questions or suggestions? Uh, Is there anybody who's contributor access to the Stepler Idea plugin? I do have access to that. Okay, so you'll be able to merge the PRs that... Yeah, uh, I will be able got. to do that. And yeah, uh, so I definitely know people who could help if something is needed. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and uh, for example, if you need to set up continuous integration there, again, we can help with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a number of channels and uh, you can ask in any of these developer channels so we will be providing assistance and if you do not know where to ask uh, just ask uh, in the hack test GitHub channel so that uh, yeah, we will be able to help after that at least uh, point you to the right channels okay mm -hmm. Okay, so one topic which might be important is about uh, how to collaborate uh, because uh, yeah, it's highly probable then uh, that some projects will have multiple contributors. Uh, for that, uh, please use Gitter chat uh, for coordination. And later, if you have uh, many such uh, uh, collaborations going on, we will just uh, create, uh, let's say, a running Google Doc uh, where we will list teams and uh, help teams uh, to cooperate with each other. So right now we don't have uh, that set up, uh, but if needed, uh, we can do it uh, uh, during the day. Okay. So anything else before we close? I guess not. So thanks for joining this session. Uh, it will be published as a video shortly. And yeah, just have fun and uh, looking forward to your contributions. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.